Hello, welcome to the MANA Irrigation Intelligence System Overview. In the next few minutes, we'll present an overview of the system functionality. For more in-depth guidance, there are more detailed video tutorials of each part of the system. A link for the video library appears at the end of this video. Let's start. This is the main page where you land after logging in. It presents all the farms listed in your account on the left-hand navigation bar. Each farm can include several fields of multiple crops as needed. Once a farm is selected, the farm dashboard appears in the main screen with hyperlocal weather data for today in the center of this farm. Temperatures, daily evapotranspiration, rain, and more. You can click Next to see the forecast for the next six days. In addition, the farm is laid out in a live map. Fields are colored by their crops. Let's select a field and view its details. The first thing you see is the recommended irrigation amount for the entire week, specifically for each irrigation zone or block. Irrigation zone is the smallest area controlled by a single valve. This recommendation is the heart of the solution. It's the outcome of the proprietary MANA's model that incorporates the actual crop conditions, hyperlocal weather data, soil parameters, the irrigation system in use, and more. There are additional two important numbers here. Water demand by satellite is the actual weekly crop water usage or evapotranspiration, as observed by satellite imagery. Next is the water demand by protocol, which is the weekly crop water usage calculated by the KC protocol selected for this field. There's more advanced functionality provided here, like applying stress strategies, fine-tuning the recommendations, viewing daily detailed data, and much more. The second module of the system is crop monitoring. Satellite images can be used here to detect crop development issues, analyze progress, and make cross-season comparisons. Vegetation maps, also known as NDVI maps, are presented here in three different modes. Visual, the actual RGB image, as can be seen by the naked eye. Vegetation levels, a standard vegetation density scale. Zero, white, represents bare soil, and one, dark green, represents full vegetation coverage. These are used to evaluate vegetation development rates between different time periods. Vegetation variability, dynamic vegetation scale, where vegetation values are stretched between min and max values of the field. Red represents thin vegetation, and green represents vigor vegetation. These maps help in identifying intrafield variability that might be a result of soil variability, nutrition, irrigation, or any other crop health factor. The system provides an archive of images as of three years back and automatically places new images as they become available, on average every five days. The third module provided is water budget. This is a planned and tracking tool for the water usage of every field. It calculates the expected water consumption for the entire season in a week-by-week -week distribution and then shows the actual versus planned consumption at any point during the season. As shown here, at the right side, three sets of values are displayed. Scrolling down will reveal the whole season. The system uses 10-year historical averages of ET and rain for the specific location of the field, as well as the KC protocol selected in order to build the weekly plan as seen here. It will also show the total amount for the season in the last line of the table. In closing, the MANA Irrigation Intelligence Solution provides weekly irrigation recommendations for every field, frequently refreshed satellite images for crop monitoring, and water budget planning and tracking tools. Thank you for watching this video guide. For more video guides and other useful information, you're welcome to visit our support page by simply clicking on the support line in the help menu.